Hey there everyone, so it's Ken here from Training Ground. Welcome back to another review video. So in this video, let's talk about the Google Pixel 9. Yeah, truly an amazing device, I would have to say, if you're into the mobile photography and videography. Man, the experience, truly one of a kind. So I'm not going to spoil too much in this early part of the video. Uh, but before we are going to start, I want to give a side note that uh, this Google Pixel 9 here, the sample loan review unit here, when I get it, uh, I have updated it. I still don't have some of the uh, features that has been mentioned during the announcement. The one such as the uh, Pixel Studio, so I can't go and test it out. Uh, I'll see whether there will be any day one updates later on and now I'll up give my input on the features itself if I have the time okay so stay tuned on the uh, AI features later on but for this video I will say it's purely more on to the uh, smartphone experience okay so with that on the side right now let's back on to the Google Pixel 9 and we are starting off with the design for this device now First thing you notice is the new camera bump design layout. Totally different from the predecessor. Right now it's a, in a pill shape. I like it. I think it's really subjective and have to suit each individual preferences. But for me, I kind of like it. It gives a subtle character and also identity for the Pixel 9 series. Yeah, I think that is truly important. I think they have actually nailed it. And also the finishing here on the device is top notch. I love it. The uh, polish and matte metal on the uh, side of this Pixel 9. Wow, I love it. It's gorgeous, truly. Yeah, everything on the finishing on this device just exude the premiumness to the ownership wonderful and also this device yes ip68 rating meaning you have a uh, better water and dust proofing so you do able to uh, do some some extreme activity at outdoor yeah but try not to push it too much because a smartphone is still a smartphone yeah okay yeah but overall, this compact form factor, what Pixel 9 is actually delivering, is truly amazing. I think a lot of ladies would love this because the 6.3 inches display here looks amazing. I'll talk about it more later. But the 6.3 inches size here just suits perfectly for any hand sizes. Be it if you have small hands, large hands, it's just comfort, yeah. So overall on the uh, design department, I would have to say I'll give it a very above average mark here, yeah. Truly, truly, truly amazing. Next, let's talk about the cameras on the Pixel 9. So on the rear, it has a dual camera setup featuring a 50 megapixel main camera and this year, a newly upgraded 48 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now the upgraded ultra wide camera now can do macro shots. So if you love to take a lot of up close subject shots, the new ultra wide camera is not gonna disappoint you. More details about that later on. And meanwhile for the front facing camera, it's still the same 10.5 megapixel selfie shooter. So in the photography experience, the main camera always delivers the best shots seriously you have to check out the sample over here check out the dynamic range is so good and the color temperature is most of the time into the warm i like it and it just delivering nice saturation on most of the photos i love it truly truly amazing and if you want to take portrait shots yeah, every portrait shot being shot on the Pixel 9 is via the main camera. 
So it's actually using a digital zoom on the read and the output is truly phenomenal. And when there is low light situation, you don't have to worry. It will sometimes detect the uh, lighting condition and it will go auto night mode. However, if you want the best night mode shots, definitely you can go to night side. You will totally amp up the brightness and the clarity of the low light shots. Meanwhile, for the ultra wide camera, it takes really wide shot at 0.5 times zoom. Really wide. However, I do notice it has that fish eye lens effect whereby it stretches some part, especially on the edge of the photo. So you have to take note on that. But if you can overlook on the uh, slightly stretched subjects, then I think you are getting a really amazing ultra wide camera on here. And photo quality is just almost similar to the main camera. HDR looks amazing and so much more. However, I also do notice that the uh, ultra wide shots, if you try to zoom in a little bit more, yeah, it might be a little bit pixelated. So take note on that as well. And if you want to take low light situation, it's hard to get noises because same like the main camera, it will go auto night mode. And if you want the best low light situation shots, go for the night side. Meanwhile, for the selfie camera, it can do wide selfie as well because it can go to 0 0.7 times zoom. Yeah, so if you want to do a lot of goofy shots, the Pixel 9 selfie camera is able to cook up with that test. And the selfie photos, again, I do not know what Google magic has been added into it. Looks really, really awesome. Be it whether in good lighting condition or low light condition as well. And yes, the selfie camera also allows night sight as well. Next, let's talk about the videography on this Pixel 9. So the rear and the front facing camera can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second. Also, it has the ability to shoot HDR video but that gonna limit you to shoot at 4K 30 frames per second. Yeah, video quality from the main camera, just excellent. And same goes for the ultra wide but you definitely do notice when there is tougher lighting condition, the ultra wide camera definitely suffers from noises as well. Okay, same goes for the selfie camera. Bright daylight, no doubt about it, it's going to be amazing selfie video at 4K 30 frames per second. Meanwhile, in low light situation, it's definitely going to uh, suffer a little bit. So make sure to have a lighting equipment to assist you to get better lighting in your videos, especially when you're using the ultra wide and the front facing camera. So you also have other videography features as well, such as uh, the blur video, AKA the bokeh video. So if you love to take a lot of bokeh video, that's the option over here. However, it can only shoot up to full HD 30 frames per second and it's only limited to the rear main camera. I'm not sure why it doesn't support the uh, front facing camera. However, it is what it is and the video actually looks quite convincing and professional as well. Go and check out the uh, sample video. Next, let's talk about the performance on this Pixel 9. Powering it is the Google Tensor G4 and being paired along with 12 gigs of RAM and up to 256 gigabytes of internal storage. I highly recommend you get the 256 gigabyte of internal storage if you are taking a lot of photos, 4K videos, and download a lot of apps. Because my sample loan review unit here is the 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It filled up within three days. Yes, that is taking a lot of photos, 4K videos in 30 and 
60 frames per second along downloading the major game titles. So, taking on the storage space. Meanwhile, the performance here, I will have to say the Google Tensor G4 offers flagship level performance, albeit it might be lagging with the competition flagships that is offered in the market right now. However, it still can deliver what you want to throw onto it, albeit might take a little bit more time. And in the uh, mobile gaming space, it still runs quite okay but don't expect high frame rates, especially for game titles such as the Genshin Impact. So if you're going to run at the highest settings, 60 frames per second, you're actually looking at 40 plus frames per second. And occasionally, you might be seeing dipping below the 40 frames per second. But gameplay-wise, the Google Pixel 9 delivers quite amazing experience. Uh, for other titles as well, the PUBG Mobile and uh, S4 Legends Unite just delivers amazing gaming experience because it can hit that 60 frames per second. Next, let's talk about the display and the audio performance on this Pixel 9. So Pixel 9 uses a 6.3 inches actual display which basically an OLED panel and supports 120 hertz refresh rate yeah so another key aspect to take note on the display is the brightness so they have actually upgraded it it's much more brighter which can go up to 2700 nits peak brightness for me i felt the display is truly amazing because the colors everything is vivid full and the scrolling action, man, that is smooth, really good. And meanwhile, for the stereo speakers here, I will have to say they sounded a little bit bassier, but if you are just doing a lot of content consumption and perhaps playing a lot of EDM music, the stereo speakers here work fine. So let's check out the sample. Pixel 9 will be retailing in Malaysia starting from 39.99 ringgit. Pixel 9 Pro will start from 51.99 ringgit. And Pixel 9 Pro XL will be from 56.99. Next up, let's talk about the battery performance on this Pixel 9. So this device is actually packing a 4,700 mAh battery and it supports up to 45 watt fast charging. It supports fast wireless charging as well. So according to the charging speed, this is by Google. They say if you are charging up to 55%, it only takes 33 minutes on this device yeah not only that if you are moving along with the extreme battery saver this device can last up to 100 hours now for my real world usage i will have to say that the uh, battery life would definitely last you throughout a day of usage depending on how you're using it but if you are very heavy into taking a lot of photos, the 4K videos, especially the 60 frames per second, then you might be seeing the battery life gonna deplete much more quicker. And also for those love to play a lot of heavy gaming titles, yeah, you do have to anticipate the battery life will not be lasting that too long if you're so into heavy using the device so i have been using the google pixel 9 as my gps and check out the 5g connectivity over here works really really good so let's test out the fingerprint scanner okay 
quick instantaneously because I've registered two of my thumb. Let's go. Pretty fast, right? Not bad. So we have finally reached to the end point of this review video. It's time for me to give my final verdict. So for the Malaysian market, the Google Pixel 9 here is going to cost you 3,999 ringgit Malaysia for the 128 gigabytes of internal storage. If you want to get the 256 gigabytes of internal storage, that will cost you 4,499 ringgit Malaysia. I say go ahead, take the 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Trust me, when you are buying a flagship device, get at least 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Yeah, it's going to help you a lot. And for the pricing wise, I would say I still can accept it because you have to remember this is Google's offering a premium Android experience. And not only that, the mobile photography and videography that is delivered by this Pixel 9 here is truly wonderful. Perfect for those who are creating content or maybe you are enthusiast in photography and videography as well. Pixel 9 is sufficient enough for you. Highly recommended for those who are planning to get their flagship smartphone, content creators, and also for working adults as well. It looks premium as well. Definitely won't go wrong if you are going to get one of these, especially for the Malaysian market since it's first time debuting in the local market here. Yeah, truly amazing. So that is my recommendation. So outright buy it, keep it in the buying list or forget it. I say go and buy it if you have the budget. Seriously, it's really good. And if you are not so into the uh, heavy performance for mobile gaming, then this is definitely one of the devices that suits all the general users. Okay, how about rating? Hmm, I would have to say 8.6 out of 10. Yes, truly phenomenal device. And still, the camera experience here still mind-blowing till today. Really fantastic. Just, you can feel the difference on, on how the software and hardware working together to deliver amazing photos and videos on this Pixel 9. Yeah, so basically, that's my review and special shout out thanks to Google Asia Pacific, Google Malaysia for providing a sample loan review unit. However, there's no cash compensation. Therefore, whatever I'm saying here is based on one week experiencing this Google Pixel 9. Yes. Truly phenomenal experience and I appreciate that opportunity and uh, once again, there's no creative input, no final approval is needed from the brand. And with that say, it's a long video. I'm your Ken from Training Ground. I'm going to bow to you and I'll see you on the next content, alright? Ciao.